Hi, this is Brittany from Hand to Mind. This is our Teach at Home math video series. This is week nine, day four. I wonder, have you ever had a collection of coins? I bet you have. I bet you've even found some of these coins on the ground before. Well, today we're going to identify what those coins are. They all have a name and they all have certain attributes that help us name them. So come join me today as we learn how to identify coins. Today, we're going to be looking at lots of different coins and we're gonna be able to identify these coins. Okay, so here is what we're going to do. I want us to take these coins and we're going to sort them. So if I was to sort them, one thing I notice is I might sort them by color. Do you see some different colors? Yeah. I could also sort them by size. Do you see different sizes of coins? Yeah, there's different sizes of coins. Lots of those different things. So here's a way to sort them. So I took all these coins and I sorted them. And so notice this first column right here, from here to here. Does anyone know what that coin is? Do you know the name of that coin? Yeah, it's the quarter. And do you know who is on the front of the quarter? George Washington. So on the front of a corner, quarter, one way we identify it is because it has George Washington on it. Another way we identify it is we know that it's one of the larger coins. So if we look at all these coins, it, in this section, it is one of the larger coins, isn't it? And it's also, what color is the quarter? It's silver. So those are some attributes that it has that we can use to help us identify the, this one. Okay, let's look at the next one. So the next one is called the dime. And what do you notice about the dime? It's really small, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of our smallest coins that we have. And so it's also, it's silver. And does anyone think they know who's on the front of a dime? Yeah, it's Franklin D. Roosevelt. So Franklin D. Roosevelt is the person who is on the front of our dimes. Okay, let's look at the next one. What is this that we had four of? Oh, those are what's called nickels. So that is a nickel, isn't it? And what do you notice about the attributes of a nickel? Well, it's definitely not the smallest and it's not the largest. It's kind of right in the middle. It's bigger than a dime but it's smaller than a quarter, isn't it? And what color is the nickel? It's silver. And does anyone know who's on front of the nickel? It's Thomas Jefferson. So Thomas Jefferson. And did you know that on the back of the nickel is actually one of Thomas Jefferson's houses that he called Monticello? So we have his the back of his coin as one of his houses and then the front of his coin of Thomas Jefferson. Awesome. And then what is this over here on the right hand side? It's called a penny. Now pennies are interesting. They're kind of easy to spot. Why are they so easy to spot? Because they're not silver, are they? They are made out of what we call copper. And who's on the front of the penny? It's Abraham Lincoln. And on the back of the penny is the Lincoln Memorial. Okay, so here's our, so we've identified our coins. Now let's match them up. So which one is the quarter? I want you to point to the quarter. Were you pointing to this one right here? Great. Which one's the dime? I remember it's one of our smallest coins. Which one's the nickel? 
It's another silver coin that has Thomas Jefferson on the front. It's a, bigger than a dime, smaller than a quarter. What about the penny? Oh, that's the one that sticks out. It's copper, isn't it? And it has Abraham Lincoln on the front. Great job. So let's play a game. Who am I? I am silver, I am the smallest coin, and I have Franklin D. Roosevelt on the front. Who would that be? Did you say this one? What is this called? The dime, that's right. It's the dime, it's the smallest coin we have, um, and it has Franklin D. Roosevelt on the front. Great job. Okay, who am I? I have the Lincoln Memorial on the back, I have Abraham Lincoln on the front. I am copper. Yes, it's the penny. Very good. Okay, so who am I? I am one of the larger coins. I am silver. I have George Washington on the front. The quarter. Good job. Let's try one more. Who am I? I have a house on the back. I have Thomas Jefferson on the front. I am silver. Who am I? Who is that? That's the nickel. Very good. That's the nickel. So today we've been working on identifying our coins based on those attributes. That's going to be really important for us in the future when we start to count our money. So if you'd like more activities on identifying coins, please visit handtomind.com. Hope you all have a great rest of the day.